Walaikum salam wa rahmatullah. In one video, you mentioned once, you mentioned the hadith about once Ali ibn Abi Talib, may Allah be pleased with him, accepted sweets from non muslim on their religious festival. So, food other than meat is permissible, even if the name besides Allah is taken. Yeah. But I read the translation in Surah Maida, ayat 3. It says four things to be forbidden. One of them is any food on which name of other than Allah is taken. It mentions any food. In some other translation, I find animals which is slaughtered, not taking Allah's name. So which one is correct? It is, is it any food or it, is it animal? And could you please give me the references of the two hadiths about Ali ibn Abi Talib and another Aisha. May Allah be pleased with them. First of all, I do not give references because the time does not allow us to do this and I don't keep references in my head. Otherwise, I wouldn't be in this program. I would have been somewhere with the major, major scholars of Islam. Secondly, we do not jump to conclusions without doing our own research. So you cannot just jump to an ayah and have your own conclusion and let that cascade on different issues and then you find yourself in a no man's land. This is not the way it's done. You have to go to scholars. You have to understand the interpretation of the ayah, read the different tafasir, six or seven of them and then go to the books of fiqh and understand the jurors' opinion on such tafsirs, etc. There's no dispute that if I bring an apple and a disbeliever, a mushrik, says different names on it of his idols, that this has no impact on the apple. I think they call it puja, in, in, when the Hindus give food and sweets and veg food that was offered to their gods and then they offer it to others. No problem. The food itself is not going to be contaminated. When they say the name of uh, uh, Krishna or uh, Rama or whatever gods they have, uh, it doesn't matter. The apple is going to still, still be an apple. The sweets is going to be still be sweets. The thing that is affected and impacted when saying other than the name of Allah is when you slaughter an animal. So if you slaughter a sheep or a goat and you say in the name of so and so, so you're sacrificing for the name of a false god, whether it's Jesus, whether it's Buddha, whether it's whatever name, this makes the meat of that slaughtered animal, haram, and you cannot eat it, consume it, or use it, it's najis. And this is what is meant by وَلَا تَأْكُلُوا مِمَّا لَمْ يُذْكَرِ اسْمُ اللَّهِ عَلَيْهِ وَإِنَّهُ لَفِسْقِ And do not eat from what the name of Allah was not mentioned upon, and this is a sinful transgression. So, this means that if the Jews, the Christians, the fire worshippers, the idol worshippers, give us some sweet that we can consume that because it does not contain haram elements of meat inside of it. And if the Jews and Christians give us meat that is halal, then we can consume that because it's mentioned in verse 5, Surah Al-Ma'idah, chapter 5, that the slaughtering that the Jews and Christians do to their animals is halal for us. So we don't have to ask or check. Once it comes to us, we can eat and say Bismillah. And I hope this answers your question.